So there's two configurations of uh, rope where you're going to ascend. One is free hanging like this one, uh, and the other is up against the wall. Again, the rigging is exactly the same. The technique is just uh, slightly different, uh, but I'm going to show you guys a free hanging for this one. The nice thing is that the ascent to start rigging uh, for the, an ascent is exactly the way that you would rig for a rappel. And so what that means is that if you're rappelling down a rope uh, and you need to transition to an ascent, you're already rigged. Uh, to get to get going and so there's nothing really to change. There's only some additional uh, Components to add so we're going to rig as we did for repel and that includes uh, a full function test and safety check and so Take that slack in it flows nicely. We load it it locks the device functions in repel mode So beautiful we're we're good to go there and again, just make sure our harness is correct. I got my gloves my helmet and the anchor has been checked up top. So to move into a ascent of, of a, a rope, we're going to need a quickie ascender. So the quickie ascender, we get our, our device out, and you'll notice there's a little uh, spring detente there. So when you press on that and you uh, open the plate, there's a safety catch once and then twice and it'll open fully. There's a spring cam in there and uh, a shiv, a brass shiv. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put this on the rope in such a way that if you notice, there's a, a flat part on the top and an angled part on the bottom. And so think of it like a shelf and a shelf supports weight with the flat part on the top and, and the angled on the bottom. And so we're going to basically put a shelf on there. Think of it that way. And that'll uh, always orient you to the, uh, uh, the correct orientation. We're going to take that, the cam, open it up and place that on the, uh, the standing rope. Then we're going to grab the, the brake hand rope uh, on the uh, front coming out of the QD and we're going to put it on the shiv just like that. Get my face out of the way. And then we're going to close the side plate once, twice, two clicks. And then that's the, the, uh, the configuration. So we need a leg loop on this now. So what we're going to do is um, get a carabiner, non-locking, so we can just use a, uh, a free gate there. If you have to use a locker, that's not a problem. And then we want to use a 180 centimeter sling. 120 is uh, probably going to be short, too short for most people. Uh, 240 is going to be a lot of extra. 180 is typical uh, win wingspan for, for average person, so you know right away. All we do here is we just uh, click that onto that free gate carabiner. And then I usually take this, this sewn uh, component and I'll put it kind of near there because I don't want it to, uh, to get in the way of, of any of the other uh, things I'm doing with this rope. Now we need to attach it to our, our foot. So we're just gonna make a girth hitch, just do two loops in it. And there you see that girth hitch. And then we're going to put that on our boot. And uh, once it's on the boot, we snug it up. And I'd like to have the, the, the end coming out of that on the inside of the foot just for a little bit more um, stability. Then what we do is to size this correctly so that the throw is going to be the most efficient is we go chock-a-block with the QA and the QD. And then we're going to grab... We're going to grab the slack out of there. And again, we want to avoid that, uh, that sewn area. We're going to grab the slack out. And uh, so if you're standing up straight and this is chock-a-block and they take that slack out, you tie the knot uh, in the sling right there and that should give you uh, the most efficient throw length. When you tie this knot, tie it in a slip knot so that uh, because it's going to be weighted, it's going to be loaded, you want it to come out easily. And so there's our, our slip knot right there. Okay. So that's good there. Now we're ready to, uh, to ascend the rope. So to, to begin our ascent, 
Um, we're going to push the QA up the rope, and as we push it up, our uh, our leg has to our knee has to bend, and our our leg's got to come up, and our foot comes up. What I like to do is uh, I like to hold the the top of the QA, and uh, with my one hand to support, and then I'm going to pull on uh, the rope with the other, and uh, I'm just going to get up here. And what's going to happen is my leg is going to kick out for, uh, for balance. If you're up against the wall, like we had talked about at the beginning, then that leg is going to be up on the wall for, uh, for stability. So you're not uh, flopping all over the place. So uh, here I'm just going to load it. And then as we wait on this leg, I'm going to pull up on this arm. And then I'm going to take the slack out of the system. And then, so now I'm off the ground. Same thing, as I push up, my leg comes up, I grab the top of the cam. Now when you're grabbing the top of the cam, you wanna grab it so that it cams on the rope, not so that it, it breaks the cam. I'll show you that again. You wanna grab it so that it's camming the rope, so you're grabbing it on this end. If you grab it like this, then it risks pulling it down. You don't wanna do that. And so, so the handle is, is in camming motion and then you pull through here as you stand up and you'll see it's pulling it through the device and then the QD auto locks and captures your progress. So show a wider angle of that. This pushes up, this grabs, my leg kicks out for stability. And as I pull in, hang on, let's see if I can get twisted. Pulls that in. Okay, then what we want to do is we're going to transition back to a rappel. Let's try and stabilize. So to transition back to the rappel, first thing we'll do is we'll get this uh, sling off. We'll take the carabiner off the QA. I'll rack the, the carabiner. We don't need that anymore. Take it off my boot. And you'll notice how nice this knot comes out because it was a slip knot. We'll stow this up and we're just going to stuff that in the climber's dump pouch for now. Then all we need to do is push that detente on the side, remove the QA, throw that in the climber's dump pouch, and we are all ready for a rappel. No different than, than before. Gas paddle and clutch, and down we go.